Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for the 30th of June. Now, with the ASX 200 here, I'm not much help today because I can't figure out um, this particular pattern that we're working through here. We were looking for the market to move lower, and that's still possible, um, but it would need to finish at least on this trend line through here. It's already at its 61.8% here. I can see that it wants to edge up higher here. Um, but any move sort of above into the 6,000 here, and we would have to look at um, from wave three here down to wave four here as being complete or a more complicated correction. So we either need to see it fail at this trend line through here on the for the downside, or if we go back to the bigger picture here on the daily chart here. So we know that, um, just get this into perspective here a little bit. So we're looking at this as wave one here and two here and then one and two here. And then we know we got five waves up into this little space here. Um, then we're looking at, we've got an impulse wave through to here. So we were looking for a B wave to move up 50 or 60%. That's what we've got. And then we're looking for a move down. We're looking for five waves down. Now we can squeeze five waves in this little leg here so maybe we're finished at that particular point uh, here. So there's two ways we can look look at this, two ways I'm looking at it so far here, is that we have wave three here, an A wave here, and then an A and a B, well, all of the B wave is a triangle, but I need to talk about that a little bit more. And we've got five waves down here, and this is the low here. So we've got five waves here. Um, so we could have this in place here. But the other point with this too is that another way to look at this wave four here is this way as well. So this is not very helpful, I'm afraid, where we have the five wave structure down through to here and then the A wave up to here to the high point here and then an A and a B and a C wave here for this B wave here and looking for five waves up here, either to the 61.8% mark, which is here and down, or the 72% uh, coming up here. And there is the 786 as well, but um, I would imagine they only need to go high enough here to, as, a, as a bit of a bull trap before folding over. So look, in a way, it looks like the market wants to move up higher here. Um, and it can fail up here based on this particular pattern. We've also got this as a pattern for the S&P 500 as well. Um, and, you know, it just makes the way for more concrete with a, um, you know, with a much more uh, corrective, much more uh, complicated uh, pattern uh, with four, four wave four in terms of an A wave here, an A and a B and a C wave here for wave B and then down. But we also need to be mindful that we don't have, you know, that we have, you know, if the market doesn't fail and move down, then we have to look bullish. So on the bullish side, you know, we can also have wave four in here, as I've mentioned. So it will make the setup on the 6,000 here um, important here. So we'll just revert to our normal classic trading levels pattern here and see if we can find a way in from that point here. And uh, if that moves up, well, then we'll be triggered in and we can continue up and we'll be making new highs above wave three here. So um, yeah, unfortunately, it's just, I was hoping that the S&P and so on would just sort of fail and would have our nice move down and, and everything would be nice and, you know, we would have, would be short under the 5.8 here and the 3,000 on the S&P 500. I expected support here, but we're getting too much support here, you know, so um, we've either got this, we've either got wave four in here or we need wave four over here. And the only way I can resolve that is by looking here for um, support on the 6,000 and then go along from that point there. Um, so, I mean, the other interesting point here that's sort of worth pointing out is that on the cash market, this is actually not the high here. This is the high here for this. And this is something I discovered with the S&P today as well. But for for our market here on the XJO, as you can see here quite clearly, um, this this whole pattern here that we're looking at, this is the high here 
not this one here on the futures market. So um, it does make this here as well down for the A wave. It looks like a nice five waves down here and then an A wave here. And this can be counted as um, uh, this can be counted as an A wave here, a B wave up to here, and then really one and two here and three and four and five down here. It's not a very nice five waves, but um, it can work uh, in terms of if we have, so the high really is sitting over here and that would make this as wave one and two here and three here and four here and five here. So that's why this can also be finished in this particular space here for that. Um, but I have to just leave that there for the moment. But, you know, we can't ignore the cash market. The cash market is more important than the futures market as the futures market can be pushed around a bit. So we need to be a little bit mindful of that. Now, obviously, the US markets are up nearly a percent or so. I'll just double check on that. Yeah, one one point four one one and a half percent. So that means that we will end up pushing up into the six thousand here, and um, and then we'll have a definitely have a reaction from this point. So I'm not going to do anything here. You know that you can trade long in this particular space uh, here. Um, I just need to ha I just need a trade. Set I need a setup, and I don't think going long just before resistance is such a great idea. There's not a lot of space in there. It's okay for day traders. You're sitting at nine thousand five hundred and fifty, so you can use this pattern here at the nine thousand um, five hundred at the five thousand nine hundred and fifty, the midpoint there, and move higher within that space there. Um, so. Yes, just um, just recapping this a little bit, just go to the four hour chart. It's possible to have this completed in here as wave four using wave B high here and having five waves down here as that's the low. On the cash market, as I just mentioned, that's the high over here and we could use this low here because there's five waves coming down here in that one. So we could use it as one and two and three and four and five. And that's kind of how we're looking at the S&P 500 at the moment. So a breach above this trend line here would negate any move down from this point. So it can hit this here and fail and come down. But if it moves, through, when a market moves through a trend line, it's normally the same as the, the horizontal lines where you have the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, and then an A and a B and a C here, and then pushing up from that point. So that's how that would sort of play out there. So just be a little bit mindful um, of, of this situation here. So if you're going to go long again here, make sure you've got this trend line here as the support for this. So look, um, I just have to leave it at that. I don't have any answers today. Uh, apologies for that. I was just um, assuming and hoping that um, the 5.8 would be breached and the 3,000 on the on the um, the S and P. The other thing to look at as well is the um, the Nasdaq, because um, with the Nasdaq here, it's retesting the 10,000 here. So we just need to see if also two of this gets support on top of the 10,000 because this is the market that's leading us higher. So and then all the FANG stocks within that. And um, yeah, before we can go long here, we need support on the 10,000 because it could just fail from the 10,000 and drop back down from that point. And if that's the case, we'd need to go short below this here, but we'd be able to get a better entry than that in there. But while it's in this space here, um, I don't particularly want to do anything uh, with it at the moment. Um, it looks corrective in three waves here. So that's positive to the upside there. Um, it's difficult to get five waves out of this particular structure here. It's doable. You can count a one and two in here and a three and a four and a five up to here for a one and ABC back for two, as it's probably pulled back the right distance for that type of retracement uh, there right on the 61.8%. So I can see... You know, some of it's messy and some of it's clean, but I want to be doubly sure on things. So even though you don't trade this market, just keep an eye on the five minute chart or the 100 ticks or something and to see if we get a nice support on this level here over the next session or so. And that will help you 
um, navigate this because we'll just follow that um, market to the upside uh, there. So, all right, um, I'm just going to leave it at that. Thanks for tuning in. Cheers.